Of all the uh, documents in Palazzo Falzon, for me, the Scott document is the most unique. And I believe it's the most unique worldwide. And it also saw very considerable battle action because it's the battle plan for the British expedition in Abakir Bay on the 8th of March, 1801. The expedition comprised 75 ships, 15,000 men in an army, and 5,000 men in an assault wave. In the battle that followed three days after the landing, the British general, Sir Rafe Abercrombie, died of his wounds, was brought back to Malta and buried in Fort St. Elmo. So why is the document itself unique? In the bottom right hand corner is an inscription signed under my hand on board HMS Stately, 27th of January, 1801. Captain Scott commanded HMS Stately and also the left hand division into which the assault wave was organized by the Royal Navy. The plan itself is written on paper, hallmarked King George III. It's also been folded quite heavily and folded with the information out, which implies it was used both for the rehearsal six weeks before, because of the date 27th of January, and also for the assault itself. So we see it be as having been in Scott's pocket as the sun shone on Abakir Bay on the 8th of March and Scott rode towards the shore with the cannonballs of the French spattering the water all around them. <laughs>